Now, our wish is to find the elements in the mu is equal to 1. Mu is equal to 1. That means uh, we have to refer the elements corresponding to the mu is equal to 0. That's why to find the elements corresponding to the mu is equal to 1, we will start with the mu is equal to 0. So, all these calculations are based on d mu value. D mu value. D mu value is 0 or 1 according to the algorithm as uh, we mentioned. D mu is equal to S1. So that's why here we will take the value. Mu is equal to 0, the step. And in that D0 value, D0 value is S1. Here this value is 1 and it is not equal to 0. So that's why we have to take row value. So as I mentioned, uh, the algorithm steps are, uh, the algorithm steps are, so here uh, I'm explaining the same thing. If D mu is not equal to 0, we have to take row prior to the muth row. Mu is 0 here and we have to take row value which is uh, D row is not equal to 0. That means in this case, here because uh, mu is equal to 0, D mu is not equal to 0, then we have to take row value is equal to minus 1. Why we are taking row is equal to minus 1? We have to take the prior value of the mu where D mu is not equal to uh, D row is not equal to 0. And that's why here we are assuming rho is equal to minus 1. And uh, in either case, we have to take d mu plus 1. d mu plus 1. And these are the equations. Whether d mu is equal to 0 or d mu is not equal to 0, we have to take d mu plus 1 according to this formula. So now for mu is equal to 0 step, d1. d1 is nothing but d mu plus 1. mu is equal to 0. d1 is equal to s mu plus 2. mu value 0 and it is nothing but s2. Sigma 1, s mu 1. S mu plus 1 is mu is equal to 0 and S1. So that's why D1 is equal to S2 plus sigma 1 of 1 S1. So here, uh, uh, what is meant? S2, S1 are syndrome vectors. We are all familiar. What is the sigma 1 of 1? So here, uh, sigma 1 of 1, which is nothing but uh, uh, the error polynomial coefficients. Sigma 1 of x, sigma mu plus 1 x. So as... Uh, we represented in the algorithm sigma mu plus 1 x is equal to this is the equation. That's why sigma 1 of x, sigma 1 of x that can be calculated by sigma naught of x like sigma mu of x plus d naught d minus 1 inverse x of 0 plus 1 sigma power minus 1 of x. Sigma minus 1 x is nothing but it is a uh, error polynomial correspond to the mu is equal to minus 1. With this substitution, sigma naught of x is 1, as we discussed in the polynomial, sigma naught of x, like this. It's a sigma naught of x is 1, plus d naught value. d naught is nothing but d mu, corresponds to the mu is equal to 0. s1 value is 1. d minus 1 inverse. d minus 1 means d mu value is minus 1. Its value is 1. Inverse is 1. x power mu minus rho. Rho value is minus 1. That's why x power 0 plus 1, it is x. Sigma power minus 1 of x. Sigma power minus 1 of x means mu is minus 1. Sigma power mu minus x. Its value is 1. So finally, the updated error polynomial is 1 plus x. And correspond to this one, sigma, okay, and a sigma 1 here, for d1, we want sigma 1 of 1. Sigma 1 of 1 means it is a coefficient of x. Its value is 1. And finally, D1 is equal to 0. And L1 value, L1 value that can be calculated by maximum of L0, comma L rho plus mu minus rho, like this. Maximum of L0, comma L minus 1 plus mu value 0 minus rho. Rho value is minus 1. So this is the first iteration corresponding to the mu is equal to 0 to update mu is equal to 1. So the same values are updated here. And we got sigma 1 of x is equal to 1 plus x here. And s1 value is 1 according to the calculation. And d mu, that is nothing but d1, we got 0 value here. And uh, l mu, nothing in the <coughs> l1 is equal to 1. Mu minus l, uh, l mu, 1 minus 1, we get a 0 value here. So this is the updation value for mu is equal to 1 based on mu is equal to 0. So the other steps. 
and by practicing on your own you can you will get uh, the calculation where the values and similarly to get mu is equal to 2 the row corresponds to mu is equal to 2 you have to refer uh, a mu is equal to 1 mu is equal to 1 now d mu so account our algorithm uh, d mu okay and uh, it should be calculated if d mu is equal to 0 then sigma mu plus 1 x is equal to sigma mu of x l mu plus 1 is equal to l mu so now i can explain the same thing as uh, uh, okay and uh, to find uh, for mu is equal to 2 mu is equal to 2 that means to update the row mu is equal to 2 assume mu is equal to 1 and d1 value is 0 d1 value is 0 means so here account our algorithm if d mu is equal to 0 no need to find row value straight away d1 is equal to 0 and d mu is equal to 0 then we can find sigma mu plus 1 x is equal to sigma mu x that is sigma 2 x is equal to sigma 1 x sigma 2 x is equal to sigma 1 x 1 plus x l mu plus 1 is equal to l mu l 2 is equal to l1 its value is 1 now d mu plus 1 so according to our representation this is common for either d mu is equal to 0 or d mu not equal to 0 d2 d mu plus 1 is nothing but d2 so that's why to get new row there is a need to refer previous values d2 is equal to the formula is s mu plus 2 mu value is 1 and it is s3 plus sigma 1 of 2 so already we, uh, we have calculated sigma 2 of x and in that the first uh, uh, coefficient of x is nothing but sigma 1 sigma naught is nothing but coefficient of constant sigma 1 of 2 is 2 just substitute sigma 1 of 2 s 2 and so on so here we have to end whenever uh, the elements are uh, uh, sigma 2 of 2 there is a maximum possibility sigma 2 of 2 s 1 and with that uh, we, can, we can substitute because sigma 2 of x having the only two terms like uh, we will get uh, uh, sigma 0 of 2 sigma 1 of 2 so that's why here uh, it is enough to take the values and uh, d2 values alpha 5 alpha 5 and uh, the updated table uh, for uh, mu is equal to 2 is based on mu is equal to 1 uh, sigma mu of x or sigma 2 of x is nothing but 1 plus x the same value d2 is nothing but alpha power 5 so here d2 is calculated based on uh, syndrome values s3 s2 s1 so with that we got alpha power 5 l mu which is same method of the previous one 1 and mu minus uh, l mu and uh, we will get the value of uh, uh, mu minus l minus 2 minus 1 1 Okay, now we will extend the same thing for mu is equal to 3 mu is equal to 3 that can be obtained by taking mu is equal to 2 and d mu d mu if d mu is not equal to 0 then we have to find row value prior to the mu row and we have to calculate these values and for mu is equal to 2 so these are the calculations mu is equal to 2 d2 is equal to alpha power 5 which is not equal to 0 then we have to follow all the rules correspond to that and the row value is prior to the mu row as uh, we discussed row value row prior to the mu row such that d row is not equal to 0 so here because uh, d mu is not equal to alpha power 5 already we have taken row value is equal to minus 1 so that's why here for uh, mu is equal to 3 we have to take row is equal to 0 earlier we have taken mu value for, for which d mu is not equal to 0 now the next one is d mu not equal to 0 is mu is equal to 0 which is nothing but rho value rho is equal to 0 in this case and with that okay and we can find the d mu plus 1 which is nothing but d3 and corresponding polynomial sigma 3 of x with the substitutions and l3 value maximum of l mu comma l rho plus mu minus rho in this case rho value is 0 mu value is 2 l rho value that uh, from the table and d3 value so first we have to calculate we have to follow the same pattern error polynomial l3 and accordingly d3 for every step d3 calculation is common and with that we will get the values and updated uh, table according to this representation for mu oh, for third row is sigma 3 of x is 1 plus 1 plus uh, 
x1 plus x plus alpha power 5 x square L3 d mu is equal to 0 <coughs> L3 is nothing but 2 and uh, mu minus uh, L mu 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 okay and this is about the third row operation based on mu is equal to 2 and similarly for uh, <coughs> so this is a representation for 3 and now to get the <coughs> fourth row we have to assume mu is equal to 3 like this mu is equal to 3 and uh, because uh, d3 is equal to 0 so straight away it is a very simple step sigma 4x is equal to sigma 3x l4 is equal to l3 d4 that can be calculated and uh, for this uh, okay and here i can update the same thing for fourth row as uh, uh, sigma 4x is equal to sigma 3x like this that is a 1 plus x plus uh, alpha power 5 x square d mu or uh, d4 is equal to alpha power 10 <coughs> and uh, l4 is equal to l3 which is nothing but 2 and uh, 4 minus 2 i think uh, we'll get uh, 2 here and after that okay and here we have to find mu is equal to 4 5 in this case do mu is not equal to 0 then uh, we have to find row value row value is uh, uh, we have taken minus 1 0 but we have to take row value for which do mu is not equal to 0 that means row value is a 2 that's a common mistake so here we'll do so we'll take a mu value minus 1 0 and uh, later on mu value is 2 mu value is 1 usually but the condition is do mu is not equal to 0 the next value is a uh, row value is equal to 2 so then uh, <clears throat> the corresponding calculation for mu is equal to 4 d4 is alpha power 10 which is not equal to 0 then we have to assume rho is equal to 2 sigma 5x so according to the formula and uh, d sigma 5x is equal to we will get 1 plus x plus alpha power 5 x cube and do practice all these values ok and uh, l5 maximum of l4 comma l2 l <coughs> um, the values are l rho plus uh, mu minus rho so those values and accordingly we will get l5 d5 value ok and these values and here it is very easy to find a sigma 1 5 x is nothing but it is a coefficient of x sigma 1 5 so say so coefficient of 1 is coefficient of x is 1 here so that's why I substituted sigma 2 5 means it is a coefficient of uh, x squared and in this there is no x squared term that's why I substituted its value with a 0 sigma 3 5 means there is a coefficient of uh, x cube that's why I substituted alpha power 5 and finally I got the value 0 here so here alpha power 5 alpha power 10 plus 1 is equal to 0 that means you can, <coughs> you can refer the table and corresponding to the primitive polynomial 1 plus x plus x power 4 all the elements 0 1 2 3 up to alpha power 14 in the table you can find alpha power 5 plus alpha power 10 and we know that alpha power 10 is nothing but 1 plus alpha plus alpha square alpha power 5 is nothing but alpha plus alpha square so that means uh, alpha power 10 plus alpha power 5 is equal to 1 1 plus 1 will get 0 value <coughs> and with that we can update uh, uh, d5 uh, sigma 5 is uh, 1 plus x plus uh, alpha power 5 x cube d mu d5 is equal to 0 <coughs> and uh, l5 is equal to 3 and this value is equal to 2 so because d mu is equal to 0 straight away d mu is equal to 0 mu is equal to 5 and uh, sigma 6x that can be obtained by 1 plus x plus alpha power 5 x cube so no need to calculate and this is the error polynomial error polynomial and the roots of equation roots of this equation or uh, uh, alpha cube alpha power 10 alpha power 12 but the inverse of these inverse means uh, uh, subtract uh, 3 uh, all the roots with the 15 that means alpha power 12 alpha power 5 alpha power 3 so these are the error positions so at the start of this topic I have taken <coughs> the example like uh, uh, 
at the start of this example, uh, I have taken uh, received polynomial r is equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, r of x will x cube plus x power 5 plus x power 5, error in the th third, fifth and twelfth position. And uh, in this case, uh, we got uh, the same values here, get in the third, five, twelve, third, five, twelve positions. So here, uh, whenever we are seeing the table uh, in this way, okay, and uh, it's a, it seems to be a little bit difficult one, but by doing the same thing uh, step by step, you can easily get all this information. Still, if you have any doubts, okay, and uh, we'll discuss in the regular classes for uh, further uh, clarifications.